I was watching this video, not this one, as you can see the queen be behind me. This is not the video I was watching. I was watching a video where this person, she is a commentator on the royal family, mentioning about Meghan Markle and Prince Harry making that decision to do the Megxit. Is this true that Meghan Markle is solely responsible for what Prince Harry did? Could she do something that could prevent Harry separating from his family? Was she the reason, main reason, why Harry has cut off pretty much all ties with the rest of the British royal family? So this is something that I want to discuss because I find this to be very, very interesting. This relationship dynamic that is being played out in the British royal family is something that we can always talk about and perhaps get some understanding and some lesson that we can apply in our life. So Meghan Markle, uh, as we all know, she came to Prince Harry's life. You have to look beyond Meghan Markle for you to understand what really happened. When Meghan Markle came to Prince Harry's life, Prince Harry was already in a vulnerable situation. There are a few things that I want to mention to you. Number one, Prince Harry was not a man who could understand the world, how it works. Most of his life he spent behind the walls of the British monarch. And after that, he went to the military. He was there for a little bit, getting some training. What he did not really understand is how family works, how relationship works. He never tested them. Yes, he had a girlfriend before he met Meghan Markle, but that was all about it. And even if a person like Harry, if he does have a relationship with somebody as a prince, it is obvious that that relationship would not be just like any other relationship. Therefore, he would not learn all the things that an individual as a person uh, should learn when it comes to relationship again. So for Prince Harry, when he was completely, according to me at least, he was completely ignorant about how relationship works, he met Meghan Markle. And Meghan Markle at that time even though, uh, I mean, yes, you can blame Meghan Markle partly. Meghan Markle had a upbringing where she lived with her father. She lived with her sister and mother. When she came to Prince Harry and found him to be vulnerable, she could have empowered Prince Harry. She could have inspired him, even perhaps even teach him how relationships work. Because Meghan Markle, at the end of the day, was living a free life. She was not limited with any British protocol, any British law, or the royal courtesy that they have to maintain in the UK. She was not binded by all those things. She was a free bird. She learned a lot about life relationships, a lot more than Prince Harry. So when she came to the British monarch and got, and got married with Prince Harry, Instead of focusing on how she could actually embolden her husband and make him as someone who is very, very important for the British monarch, she decided to focus on herself, on her issues. And this is why you find that Meghan Markle, she was from the very get-go talking about how British had problem with the skin color of Archie. And then she talked about her mental health. It was all about me, me, me. And this is where immaturity comes in, or maybe selfishness comes in. When you focus too much about what you are getting and what you are not getting, when you focus too much on your rights, you forget about your responsibilities. And this is what Meghan Markle did. Unfortunately, instead of enforcing positivity in Harry's life, she brought in a lot of negativity from the British royal family, not for from herself. She was a positive enforcement in Harry's life. Harry needed Meghan Markle, but Meghan Markle got completely distracted when she met Harry and found out that she actually deserved, in her mind, more than what she was getting. I mean, think about it. You are no one. Meghan Markle was just like a reality TV show star. She was not known to anybody. In fact, I made a video and explained how she wanted to be like the 
other Hollywood celebrities like Jennifer Aniston and she wanted to do a film or a movie or a show with Brad Pitt. She wanted to reach to that level but she was nobody. So when she came to the British family she should have been thankful the fact that somebody from the British monarch is a big deal. At the end of the day it's a big deal to be part of a British royal family or any royal family for that matter. Meghan Markle took that for granted. She thought, no, just getting married into a royal family, becoming, you know, she could have, you know, the princess, and she is, literally. She became a princess overnight. Instead of thanking the British monarch for the name, the fame, the money, everything that came along with it, she wanted more. And this is where problems started. She did not like people. She was picking on people, what they were talking about her, what they were saying behind her back. She was picking on people who had problem how she was treating the stuff of the British royal family. So all the focus of Meghan Markle, all the, all the energy that she could have used to empower Prince Harry, to make him the man that any wife would want, she actually made things much worse. So reflecting on my problems only, in this case Meghan Markle, did not really benefit, it backfired. So as a result what happened is Meghan Markle, she pointed out the faults, she made Prince Harry go against the rest of the family, she gave him a lot of reason why she, or he, why Prince Harry should be even more upset than uh, he was already before he met Meghan Markle. Because remember, the issue that Prince Harry was facing, it did not come from Meghan Markle herself. The, the issue Prince Harry was facing, it came after he lost his mother and with the relationship of his father, Prince Charles, with, with Camilla. He could not re reconcile with all of this. So he had these issues uh, in, internal struggles, if you like, for a very long time. But this coming of Meghan Markle in his life and Meghan Markle focusing too much on herself, what she was getting, made the whole situation a ticking bomb. It was just a matter of time that it will click with Meghan Markle and Prince Harry coming from totally different background and seeing them as a victim instead of a source of solution, a source of posit uh, positivity. This is where the problem started. Once Prince Harry, she, he met Meghan Markle, Meghan Markle convinced Prince Harry that everything that you were thinking about the British family, she validated those feelings. Instead of talking about those feelings, because Prince Harry himself, he mentioned, I was she, he had a lot of pent up frustration, anger against the British monarch. He, he mentioned that. He did mention, and he said, I'm quoting him directly. He did say that I had anger, and Megan understood that. Quote unquote, Megan understood that. So when Megan understood that problem, those internal issues that he was having, Megan Markle could have easily helped him by. And making him understand the value of relationship. So what we have seen, exactly the opposite has happened. Meghan Markle gave him more reason. She fed him with a lot of negativity about the British royal family. And eventually Prince Harry decided, you know what, it is time and I now am awake. You know, there is this oak culture that we talk about. So that oak culture was brought in Harry's life by Meghan Markle against the British royal family. And he felt he was alive. For the first time ever, somebody is validating my feelings, my anger, my pent up, um, pent up anger that I had in my heart for a very long time. Prince William at the same time, being the prince, he probably did not understand Harry's problem, issues. He met Kate Middleton. He was busy with her, with his relationship with her. Uh, Prince Charles, they were all living their own life. 
So yes, there was this uh, situation where nobody really cared much about Hattie. So now that Ma Hattie, she, he met Meghan Markle all of a sudden, he is for the first time feeling alive. Somebody is validating my, validating my feelings, and now I need to do something about it. So again, Meghan Markle, she, she pulled the trigger for Prince Harry when she was giving him ill advice that you need to get out of the situation. I am the victim. Look at yourself. You are the victim. We are on the same page in that sense. Well, Meghan Markle, whatever you did, it did not pan out very well. And that's what we see right now. Not only that, Prince Harry is losing relationship with the British monarch, and perhaps forever. The, the communication is being cut off right now. He's not talking to his even own grandmother, who loved him so much. I believe she is still, the queen still loves him so much. But there is no communication. And if there is no communication, according to the relationship expert, there is no relationship. For relationship, any relationship to continue on, there must be communication. Prince Harry, he blocked, he stopped the queen from having any kind of communication, po positive communication. Yes, sometimes they take pictures, sometimes they talk on Skype, but those things really don't count as much as physical touch, physical hug or kiss, you know, shaking hands, kissing hands, seeing each other face to face. So the point here is that, and as I put the title on the video, is Meghan Markle really responsible for what Prince Harry did and the situation that we are in right now? The answer is yes, and at the same time, no. Prince Harry, unfortunately, as I said in the beginning, did not learn about relationship, being a prince. And the reason we can also say Meghan Markle was responsible is because Meghan Markle came from a background where she dealt with so many people and she understood relationship but she did not give him good advice that Prince Harry desperately needed. Had it been from coming from Prince Charles or from any other royal family members it would have been totally different situation but because it came from somebody who is an outlier, Meghan Markle in this case, she felt that victim, she had this victim mentality, and so she added fuel to the fire instead of trying to extinguish the fire. Uh, situation right now, as I said in the video, uh, for Mega Marker Prince Harry, it looks pretty bleak, uh, at least what I can see. Uh, Prince Harry soon will realize his mistakes, and perhaps we will see an interview from Prince Harry telling the public, especially to the Queen and the British monarch, how sorry he was for the decisions that he made. Um, would he blame Meghan Markle for everything? I don't think so, because at the end of the day, uh, one thing will always stand out, which is that Prince Harry, he loves Meghan Markle, and she loves him uh, just like that. But the only problem with that was uh, they could not understand or value relationship with the other royal family members. And this is why perhaps you see Meghan Markle she cut her father off completely. She doesn't talk to him at all. She had a good upbringing. She was with her father. They had good time. But now she is denying all of it. Very poor relationship advice. When you are young, when you can afford to cut off relationship, most of the time you would cut off relationship. When you are old or if you are poor, you need money, you cannot afford cut off relationship, you will actually not cut off relationship. This is what it is. This is the reality of it all. But unfortunate that ego plays a very big role in relationships and not mind, not your brain, not your humility. Meghan Markle obviously, as I said, she did not appreciate the fact that she was being included in the British royal family. I mean, the British royal family could have cut off ties with Meghan Markle when Prince Harry said, I want to marry this girl. Did they do it? No, they did not. They embraced them. They supported them. This is why we have seen 2018 May, that marriage. It was a big function. Everybody was happy. So their problem was really not that Meghan Markle marrying a 
person like uh, sorry uh, Prince Harry marrying a person like Meghan Markle she was not a bad choice at the end of the day otherwise they would have vetoed his decision but what happened is after they got married it just didn't work out because of that victim mentality coming from Meghan Markle right away but I know the bat I'm marrying to this British royal family instead of appreciating it and thanking everybody for accepting her in the family she asked Prince Harry to cut it off and separate himself from the rest of the British monarch something I want to discuss in this video because uh, relationship uh, is life as expert they say that we are here because of our relationship. We live because of our relationship. We die because of our relationship sometimes. If you do not have relationship, really, you, your life means nothing. Thank you guys for tuning in, for joining in. I'll see you in the next one. Have a wonderful day.